Soldiers at Joint Base Lewis McCord are currently evaluating new equipment designed to address the U.S. Army's primary communication goal, reducing the size of its command post on the battlefield while enhancing mobility and flexibility. Jacqueline Howard, a test officer from the Mission Command Test Directorate at the U.S. Army Operational Test Command, provides insights into this development. This new gear, known as the Command Post Integrated Infrastructure CPI2, is being developed in two stages, referred to as Increment 0 and Increment 1. The soldiers of the 1st Striker Brigade Combat Team, nicknamed Ghost from the 2nd Infantry Division, are currently testing Increment 0 of CPI-2. Major Joseph Brown, the brigade's fire support officer and lead planner for the testing, emphasizes that CPI-2 aims to offer the Army a more resilient mission command platform. Major Brown underscores the importance of rapid setup and teardown of capabilities for combat units like his. He believes that if CPI-2 functions as intended, it will reduce transition times for brigades and enhance the overall survivability of their command and control structure against enemy attacks. Soldiers are actively putting CPI-2 to the test by conducting real missions in an operational setting. Mr. Beresford Doherty, a test officer with the U.S. Army Operational Test Command, states that nine production-ready vehicles are undergoing testing in simulated combat scenarios. According to the Program Executive Office Command, Control, Communication Tactical in Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, CPI-2 is undergoing various phases of prototyping, integration, and experimentation. Doherty adds that CPI-2 is set to replace the older command post tent system with a more mobile and versatile family of systems. One key aspect of the testing process is gathering feedback from Army soldiers regarding CPI-2's performance in supporting their missions. Insights and lessons learned during Increment 0 will inform the development of Increment 1, which will include a broader range of military vehicle platforms, including armored vehicles, joint light tactical vehicles, and medium tactical vehicles. Platoon leader 2nd Lieutenant Cassie Daly, working at the Brigade's Tactical Action Center, expresses enthusiasm for the expandable vehicles and their quick connectivity capabilities. She highlights the ability to establish wireless connections for services across the battlefield, which she finds particularly impressive. Mr. Robert Potter, Chief of Mission Command at the U.S. Army Evaluation Center in Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, explains that data collected during the testing phase will be used to assess CPI-2's operational effectiveness, suitability, and survivability, as well as its impact across various domains, including doctrine, organization, training, material, leadership, personnel, and facilities. The U.S. Army Operational Test Command serves as the Army's sole independent operational tester, responsible for evaluating the effectiveness, suitability, and survivability of Army, joint, multi-service, and multi-domain warfighting systems in realistic operational environments. Skilled soldiers participate in these tests to provide critical data before systems are deployed to the American soldier. The Mission Command Test Directorate within OTC plans, conducts, and reports on independent operational tests, assessments, experiments, and rapid initiatives for both enterprise and tactical mission command systems, providing essential information for acquisition and fielding decisions.